Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Shades of Max. Normandy is the second most important place in France. This region is very close to the city of Paris and easy accessible. In this video, I am going to show you the D-Day beaches. So let's go! On the morning of 6 June 1944, the once pristine Normandy coastline became the site of the largest ever seaborne invasion in the world history. Our first stop for the day was Utah Beach. Utah Beach is one of the five D-Day landing beaches. This is the beach where the first American troops landed on June 6, 1944. All around the Utah beach you will find souvenirs of the D-Day landing, cannons and other artilleries. On the notorious Utah beach, you will not only see many memorials, but also a rather large museum. Utah Beach, a site of intense fighting, is now a peaceful place with cool breeze and the sound of waves hitting the surf. Our next stop was Pointe du Hoc, which was between Utah and Omaha Beach. Pointe du Hoc is a cliff overlooking the English Channel on the coast of Normandy. It was here the Germans had built one of the strongest forts during World War II. Pointe du Hoc had concrete bunkers that were capable of hitting either the beach as well as ships. You can still see the bullet holes in the bunkers. Craters left by the aerial bombing still litters the ground as the evidence of terrible battle that took place here. Our next stop was Omaha Beach. The landing on Omaha Beach was the hardest fought and the most costly of the D-Day landings and also the one that came closest to failure. The landings at Omaha is most remembered for the casualties the Americans took there. Our next stop was American Cemetery Memorial. 
the whole experience starts with a small museum that describes the situation, the build up before the invasion, letters, photographs and other materials. The Normandy American Cemetery is the final resting place for around 10,000 service men and women. The crosses are laid out in a beautiful diagonal grid pattern that seems to go on forever. Patrol the skies over the Normandy battlefield. Flying cover for the advancing Allied army. Protecting the infantry and armored columns from Hitler's transit. Threatening. Walter loved to fly. He is most comfortable in the cockpit of his aircraft. He is a born flyer. about my trip, including hotel I stayed, places I visited, will be mentioned in the description section below. You can follow Shades of Mix on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video and also do subscribe to Shades of Mix by clicking here. See you in my next video. Till then, bye-bye.